Lost Lore coming soon. A new event, Lost Lore, starts on August 13th, which is right now at 3 a.m., so very soon. Send heroes to scout out other worlds and wait for them to recover lore for the Hero Saga, a collection of tales about heroes in the Fire Emblem series. I'm hoping this is very accurate, but at the same time, if it's too accurate, it literally just spoils the, the heroes. But you do want to teach people about them, so I guess that's a trade-off. You can earn rewards like orbs and dragon flowers from scouting, striking, or recovering lore. So don't be afraid to send home heroes. Send some heroes. <laughs> don't be afraid to send home heroes. Well, geez. That's late. <laughs> send home your favorite five stars. Yes, and you will do better in lost lore. Uh, but don't be afraid to send some heroes out on a mission. Yeah, you can still be. You can still use them afterwards, guys. I, that's a lot, something I heard a lot. Tap more for additional information about the event. What is Lost Lore? This is an event in which you can send heroes to scout out other worlds and wait for them to recover lore for the Hero Saga, a collection of tales about heroes in the Fire Emblem series. You can earn rewards like orbs and dragon flowers from scouting. That, that, we already read about that. This looks really cute, though, at the very least. How it works. During the event's duration, recover Lost Lore for the Hero Saga by sending heroes to scout or strike locations in other worlds. After sending heroes out, all you have to do is wait, do is await the return. And that's probably the reason why people are upset about this, because it's not, it's not an actual game mode. It's not an actual game mode. You just do that. You just log in every once in a while. It's another thing to do while you log in. Granted, yes, you do get stuff for it. And granted, yes, it's incredibly easy. And granted, yes, you probably aren't going to struggle at this at all. And if you struggle at this, I don't know how that's possible, to be honest. But, um, well, it could be honest, because there's bonus heroes and whatnot. But, and you don't have it. Anyways. After a hero has scouted a location and returned home, a portion of its recovery gauge will fill. Once this location's gauge has filled completely, it's part of the saga that will be restored. After you scout four locations, you will unlock the ability to perform a strike. Scout four locations and strike a fifth to recover all five parts of a given saga and restore the hero's saga. You know, that sounds really cool, but I'll tell you guys what I think this should have been. Get scouting. To scout a location, tap and scout a button on Lost Lore menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scout missions are performed by two heroes. You can choose which two heroes to dispatch, as well as how many times, uh, how many line of lore they recover. Once dispatched, all you have to do is wait for the return. All right, very exciting. A lot of waiting. Oops, I nodded off for a bit there. Faye, you shouldn't sleep on this, because we'll be sleeping on this. It's like Faye's telling us to sleep on this mode. Jeez. When heroes return from a scout from scouting a location, its recovery gauge will fill. They will also bring back various items discovered along the way. Repeat this process to fill the location's recovery gauge to completion. No, you will initially be limited to one team of heroes to dispatch, but you will eventually unlock the ability to dispatch a total of three teams by recovering certain amounts of lore. So, um, that indicates we can rank up in these things and then finish these faster. But that's not such a big deal, to be honest. If you're a frequent enough player of Fire Emblem Heroes, you just gotta remember to uh, check this and send out your heroes once once they're done their missions. Um, let's see. The strength of heroes dispatch on scouting missions does not affect the amount of lore they recover. Okay, so they could be like 5 star plus 10 and it doesn't really matter. Time to strike. Finish scouting every location to unlock a strike, a 4 on 4 battle. Battles and strike missions are fought automatically based on the stats of the participants. Stats of the participants. I mean, I guess it, you have to like keep in mind, keep in mind that uh, they they want your better heroes to perform better, but and you don't want like to you don't want like players to throw in their three or four stars and they're now suddenly like being dominating lost lore. Well, <laughs> that feels funny to say because this is, this is just gonna be free either way. Anyways, be sure to take the pro provided hint into account when deciding which hero to send against the opposing force. So the example they showed was um, Faye having... I think they got Sheeta killed, because Sheeta was going up against, against the Lancer. So yeah, you gotta, take a, you gotta take the hint of what they are and then match the right proper heroes. And that way you can have the advantage. So it's not just stats, it's like an actual fight going on. It's like an extended auto battle in a way. All right, progress reports will become available during the battle to show you how your uh, heroes are faring. Pay attention to which uh, which foes you're going up against. Yep, so you gotta pay attention to that. It's big. Wow, they they're still including Fjorm in their uh, example pictures. It's usually been Air, or maybe they had Lost Lore ready since Book Two. <laughs> Probably not. Um, strike missions always recover twenty lines. During strike missions, your heroes are treated as forty. Oh, 45 star, regardless of their level or rarity. Oh, so during strike missions, it doesn't matter what you have. 
Dang. So what does stats matter? Huh. Isn't this a strike? Yeah, it says, finish scouting every location, unlock a strike, a four-on-four four battle. Battles and strike are fought automatically based on stats of the participants. But then, I, okay, so I guess it matters which hero you use, but that hero will just be 40, level 45 stars. So if you're a level 45 stars um, plus 10, it doesn't matter. It just counts as level 45 stars. Critical, critical attacks and dodges may occur from time to time in strike battles. Crits? Chat, crits have made it into Fire Emblem Heroes. What? This is Damn, how they... Well, this is kind of a lame way of doing it. I mean, at, at this point, they've gone too far. They can't put in crits, but uh, I guess they kind of did. Into Lost Lore. <laughs> uh, huh. That's weird. And dodges may occur from time to time in Strike Battles. So yeah, crits and dodges. Dang, this is like more traditional Fire Emblem, except for the fact you're just sending them out. Reap rewards. There are various types of rewards you can earn. Clear rewards, uh, which is orbs and parts of the hero saga. Discovered items, universal crystals, stamina potions, and more, which means whenever you send them out, you will be able to get a discovered item. Line rewards. Orbs, dragonflowers, refining stones, and more. This is a bat based on the amount of lines you get. And of course, if you're lucky, your hero may recover a few more items than usual. Alright, so it's kind of like Grand Conquest's random assist button. To check what line rewards are available, tap check rewards on the bottom right portion of the Lost Lore screen. Discovered items are shown on a screen that appears when your heroes return from scout or strike missions. Huh. So yeah, it's like, um, it's like escort missions. Uh, it's like, I don't know, it's like missions in a lot of RPG games. You send out a couple of heroes, they come back with rewards, and you, as long as you fill the prerequisites, they'll come back, they'll be successful, and then you get rewards for it. So they do this in a lot of RPG games, like Final Fantasy, Advanced Tactics, Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, those are just off the top of my mind. Langrisser is another one. I mean, they do this, do these things in a lot of games, so I guess it makes sense for Fade to finally put it in. And I, I'm not going to argue with the fact that we're getting free stuff. That's, that's great. Just, this isn't very exciting, and it's not actually like a new game mode, because it's not, you know, gaming. Well, it's part of a game, but you're not playing it, really. You're... Your interaction is ra rather minimal, and most of your interaction is just waiting, actually. Alright. Restore the Hero Saga. Carry out a successful strike to restore one saga in the Hero Saga collection. As a reward, you'll be able to enjoy stories from the Fire Emblem, Heroes Fire Emblem series with original game screens and art. Wow, okay. So maybe that means CGs from the original games and art, and we'll get stories from them. So like the CG scenes, maybe? Um, that's actually very interesting, and that actually doesn't take a lot of data, considering a lot of the Fire Emblem games, like the PNGs or whatever, it's just like a megabyte or something, right? So, it's not a big deal. Huh. You can continue to scout and strike even after you've seen the saga's ending, and you can receive a portion of rewards even after the recovery gauge has been completely filled. If the event ends while your teams are scouting or striking, you will not be able to receive any of the rewards. Okay, so you gotta plan it out. So if your, your team scouts or strikes concludes after the event ends, you get nothing. Tips and Tricks Part 1. Check the bonus titles. When a hero from a game in the bonus titles list is sent out, they offer the following benefits. Recover gauge fill faster. Okay, so you gotta use bonus heroes. That just allows you to send them out quicker, which allows you to finish it way quicker. Their stats are raised in strikes. Additional lines get recorded. So they do everything better. So always use bonus heroes when you can, just like everything else in this game. When a hero from a game in the bonus title list is sent out, they offer the following benefits. So I think it pulls your entire team up, rather than you have to just only use bonus heroes. Is what I imagine this will be. Let's use that to our advantage, says Faye. Tip, tip and tricks part 2. Make use of his ally support. If support ally, support partner allies are sent out together on scout and strike missions, their bond will grow slightly stronger. Oh, this is one way to grow your bonds as well. Oh, that's nice. That could actually save people some time. If they don't want to do it through um, combat and and stamina, they can use missions, but I imagine this will take forever, but I guess that's something. And finally says, why not send out your heroes on a nice stroll through another world? Because they're supposed to be scouting and striking Faye, it's not a vacation, these are heroes on a mission. Yeah, I, I wouldn't expect Faye to understand it, she's, she's just now. Alright, so that is very interesting, that is Lost Lore. Of course, it'll be out in a moment and we'll check it out, but <laughs> um, I guess we'll see.